Well, from Istanbul, Turkey, all the way to East Jordan, a former exchange student has carved out a life and business in northern Michigan. Baris Atmajan and his wife recently started a business called Socks Kick in East Jordan. Now, the store sells socks made in their home country of Turkey in the town that has a special place in their hearts. Nine in ten's David Laden met Barris today to find out what brought him back to East Jordan. Everybody's so helpful. Everybody's so curious about, you know, what we do, and everybody just supports. It was back in 2005 when Baris Atmaja first came to East Jordan as an exchange student. He stayed in touch with those he met and started bringing socks from his home country of Turkey. He got socks with me, and then I showed them around, and they were like, oh, these are really cool. They could, you know, we could use them here because they're really... Um, heavy, they're really warm, they're really good for skiing. That inspired Baris and his wife to start Socks Kick, complete with a 7,000 square foot warehouse in 2017 to sell the beloved Turkish socks in a town that has become like a second home. I just wanted to be close with the people that I like, that I, you know, love. I just wanted to come back to East Jordan, get their support because they've been support, supporting me a lot, supporting the, you know, the idea and my story. And many of their socks pay homage to Northern Michigan. We came up with the packaging with the Michigan um, in mind. So we got the Michigan map on the packaging and we got all the styles and everything was designed with Michigan in mind. It's made those who first introduced berries to Northern Michigan incredibly proud. It is a good location. The people are warm and friendly and supportive. People have been so excited about Socks Kick. They just are amazed that, you know, a company from Istanbul, Turkey, wants to come to East Jordan and the one stoplight town. Baris hopes to eventually move some of the production to East Jordan as well. In East Jordan, David Leiden, 9 and 10 News.